Hello, Carl here with Sustainability Theory News. We're over at permaculturenews.org and they have a very informative article on different ways to passively heat and cool your home without electricity. There are also a couple methods that may require a circulation pump. So let's get to it. There's a lot to cover. This is an earth home built into a mound of earth that creates what's called a thermal mass. Without a thermal mass, houses heat and cool too quickly. A strong thermal mass, however, it will keep heat during the night and then slowly gather cool and then the cool energy, well, rather the lack of heat energy, will remain constant during the first part of the day. They got a lot of infographics here is another earth home partially buried. So it's using the natural temperature of the earth to keep it cool in the summer and warm in the winter. And uh, they go into a little bit more details about insulation and thermal mass and how to create a good thermal mass. They talk about different ways to operate plants in a greenhouse and then letting air in. Because if you have a really sealed environment, you need to have oxygen to breathe, of course. They talk about convection and letting cool air come in from the bottom and warm air rise up through the top. You can even put a fan in with a little electricity, maybe a solar fan to help increase that. And then earth tubes where they have hot air coming from the outside, come in here, go through the ground, gather or lose its heat energy, and then enter the home. And then as it's naturally heated, it just rises out of the top. And then they talk about reflection of energy off of a pond to heat in the wintertime. And if you put deciduous trees that lose their leaves in the wintertime, then uh, in the summertime it'll help keep it cooler by limiting the reflection off the pond. And it talks about using prevailing winds and intakes and outtakes to draw cool air in and warm air out of the house, using liquid as a heating and cooling device, although you have to keep the temperature just below dew point to prevent condensation. A lot of information here, geothermal, they talk about solar mass heating and cobs, all sorts of great information, eco-coolers, biogas and compost, heaters, rocket mass stoves, which this is a pretty good design. If you, you want to look more into it, the link will be in the description. I'm also going to link to this article through Verge Permaculture, which is storing heat underground in a geosolar system. They got a good GIF down here and a lot of information where they basically, this is at the end of the process, covering it up, but it basically takes heat heated air and puts it underground through a series of tubes. These barrels have holes in them and then they just lay a series of tubes, then they bury it, lay some more tubes and bury it, and then it, they just warm up the soil and then use the soil's thermal mass to draw heat from later on. So those links will be in the description and if you'd like to see more news headlines like this, subscribe to my channel. Have a great day!